In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the new mainline castings that were announced at the 24th Annual Collectors Nationals. I wish that we had some events like that in the UK. Anywhere in Europe would do. And I think it'd be great because we could get like short card exclusive versions of the collector's events. That'd be pretty cool. I was watching loads of collector's point of views. People trading in the hotel rooms and just, yeah, generally really enjoying themselves and getting to see all the new castings and getting their hands on some collector event exclusives. Man, yeah, I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> this convention is where Mattel actually give us some sneak peeks to what's actually coming out for the rest of the year and looking ahead to the year after as well. So 2025, what we can expect. Anyway, guys, the first new casting is from L Case this year and it's the 1967 Lotus Type 49. Really cool. I like the colors. Definitely old-fashioned racing car. And they did talk about at the convention the detail that went into this thing, like the goggles on the driver in there. And for this one, and this one only, I do have the actual casting. It's right here, and you can see that you, you actually get a, a variation of having a black figure and a white figure. And you also get the four and five on the uh the variations that's pretty cool that'll be great if they just come in the boxes together like that um because you'll be able to collect them both this image was posted by john lambert from the lamley group if you've heard of those guys before they do a lot of reveals and lots of projects and stuff like that with with hot wheels you'll see a lot of videos on the lamley group get uh quite popular because i think they open every case um and i do view those videos so yeah, Lamley Group is is really, really good uh, for us collectors to see what's coming up and, and what's coming out. And if you look here, it's a, a table at the convention full of different Hot Wheels that are coming out for the rest of the year. Um, you can see down here, there's a, is it a McLaren 720S. It's like a 3D printed prototype of the McLaren, which is really, really cool. Uh, and next up, we've actually got a tuned skyline <laughs> it's the 2000 gtr liberty walk skyline and yeah it is tuned so yeah i'll move out of the way so you can see this thing but i have now got a big passion for collecting tuned cars if they are done well so by well the tuned 911 from this year oh chef's kiss beautiful absolutely beautiful paintwork loads of detail goes into that thing and it's tiny <laughs> i absolutely love it if they can do this thing justice then yes i'm on board with the tune stuff guys and i'll be collecting this definitely uh i think it looks really really good it's the squished version of the uh bigger liberty Walk version isn't it um that was out in 2022 i believe um, so it should match up quite well with that, with the paintwork. Next up, we've got the Honda S800 racing in like a cream color and it's from P-Case. Now, I actually watched some YouTube videos on the S800 very recently because I was looking into Mini GT. <laughs> I actually came across some Mini GT Datsuns that I really, really liked. The Datsun 510 Street. And it was a Kaido House exclusive. And it was designed by Daniel Wu. So I started looking into Daniel Wu. Uh, and some of like the cars that he collects. He is a very passionate car collector and uh, restorer. Um, and yeah, he actually had an amazing Honda S800 kind of gave me a real passion for that car and I was like can I buy this in the UK I would love to swap my car to this thing I loved real compact sports cars it kind of got me thinking wow I want to collect these Honda S800s when they come out and the casting's now been announced and it's definitely something I want to pick up so I was very happy to see that and I hope to see it in a couple of different variants because not a massive fan of like cream colored cars are you guys big fans of cream cars maybe in like a very classic old style car but on this sports cars cream nah. it's got to be something like black red green maybe something that pops man but yeah 
Anyway, this thing looks amazing. Really, really cool. Definitely going to be collecting this and its variants. Okay, so next up, we've got the Ford Mustang Dark Horse. And this thing looks like it's going to be a pretty wicked blue color. Um, I think everybody loves a Mustang. Uh, Mix N from then and now. Very, very cool. There's nothing really majorly standing out for me on this one, but very cool casting to see. Next up, we do have a very unique one. It's the Porsche 911 Rally, which will be part of the Hot Wheels Turbo set in Mix N. Have a look at this thing, guys. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You can see it's got the roof rack there with a load of different items on the top. Got rough roads on the side. Very nice. I like that livery, guys. What do you think? Pretty cool. Next up, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan Strato, if that's how you pronounce it. Strato. And this is from Mix N, and it's the Hot Wheels Dirt Set. Let me tell you what this car actually is, guys. This is an off-road Lamborghini. So it's made to go on the dirt. You can actually see there that it's been raised up so it can go over rough terrain without bumping everything and scraping everything on the Lambo. It does have high-powered beam lights on the front. And you can see it says uh, 63 there on the decal. And that's the year that Lamborghini started. So that's really, really cool. Uh, as we know, last year it was the 60th uh, anniversary of Lamborghini. Um, so yeah, I look forward to this one, guys. I think it will look great in person. And I believe it was... $400,000, this car in real life, around there. Um, I don't know if that included VAT. You'll have to uh, have a look for yourself, guys. But uh, I, won't, I don't think I'll be buying a, a one in real life anytime soon. But very cool. Great concept. Uh, a Lamborghini dirt racer. Very nice. And the last new casting for this year is the VW T3 Custom which is your old, like, surfer van style uh, custom. Very, very cool. Love that it's gold. I think it's gold and brown from what I'm seeing here. Not great wheels on this thing, to be honest. And this is from Mix Q, the Hot Wheels van set, which is very cool. I'd like to see that full set. Um, maybe we could have a little look into that. You see it's got a T3 on the side and the X is there. Very cool. A little smiley face on the back golden at the top what does it say here caution caution intake oh cool so it's got like an intake manifold there need to look into that one a little bit more and find out a bit more about it but yeah very cool v vw t3 custom so that was every new model from this year that's coming out but there was one more casting that i did want to talk about guys and it's the 87 audi quattro super treasure hunt which is going to be the first super treasure hunt of 2025 so that's going to be in mix a which looks absolutely awesome this is definitely getting added to my list of cars that i need to get <laughs> <laughs> I only have one Super Treasure Hunt, guys, but I do collect the non-supers as well. If, the, if it's a car that I really like, I'll definitely take the non-super. I'd like to see the non-super of this, and I'd, I'd definitely take it. Uh, this is from the Factory Fresh set, which is one of my favorite sets um, throughout the last year. Uh, so very happy to see this in that. Very clean castings in the Factory Fresh set. They have a lot less decals on Factory Fresh. Um, so yeah, some very, very cool new castings coming out this year that were announced at the Collector's Nationals. Um, what do you think, guys? Is there any on there that you're looking for or you'll be looking out for in the coming months? In the UK, we're probably going to start seeing those cases arrive near the back end of summer, maybe late August time. If you want to see me out hunting in the UK, click this video here. If not, I'll see you on the next one, guys.